Espresso is the fundamental ingredient to every coffee beverage we love, so it has to be good. With your Beans subscription, you're getting incredible coffees with every delivery, and they need to be dialed in to get the best flavors possible. I'm Sarah Dooley, here to help you dial in your next coffee. Let's dial in Monarch by Onyx on the Verista Touch Impress. Now, assuming you've already placed a single wall double basket in the portafilter, and you selected the double shot button, then you're ready to brew with me. Here's what my bar setup looks like from accessories to placement. Pause here if you need a minute to set yourself up for the brew along. At minimum, grab a dry towel. That cute little box on the shelf right there? That's Monarch by Onyx, and it's also in my hopper. You're gonna love this coffee. It's super chocolatey with a little hint of berry sweetness. The best part about this machine is barista guidance. That's a dial-in process that allows me to not only find the right grind, but also the right dose for this coffee. So we're already dialed in. I'm gonna take you through my steps. My grinder is set at a 13, and yours may be different, and that's okay. Let's start right where we are. Remove the portafilter and dry and wipe it out. I also like to purge the brew group and refresh the system for two short seconds while grinding coffee. Insert the portafilter into the grind cradle and press the portafilter icon to grind. My brew recipe is 18 grams of freshly ground coffee. We're going for 25 to 30 seconds of total brew time and that will yield just under two ounces of espresso. All right, press down on the tamp lever. The green arrow will indicate that you have the correct dose amount. Let's do one more tamp to polish. Check this out. Just like that, 18 grams. That's pretty cool. Wipe off any excess coffee around the rim of the basket to ensure we have a watertight seal. Insert the portafilter into the brew group and press the icon to start. Grab your favorite cup, toss it under those spouts. The machine starts at a low pressure and water is moved through the puck up to high pressure. That's called pre-infusion. This will result in a slow saturation of the bed and a full extraction of sugars, acids, omegas, and lipids that make up a delicious espresso. Oh my gosh, we are just under 10 seconds from a delicious shot of espresso. Okay, give it a little spin. Look at that, nice, thick, even bubbled crema. Mm. I can taste that berry note right underneath milk chocolate. So delicious. Did your shot look and taste like mine? The number one goal of adjusting the grind is to either slow down or speed up the flow of water through the coffee bed. Don't be afraid of this step. We can always adjust it back. If the water flow is too fast, the coffee may taste sour. Adjust the grind a couple of notches finer to slow down the water flow through the bed. If the flow is too slow, the coffee could taste bitter or roasty. Adjust the grind a couple of notches coarser to speed up the flow of water through the coffee bed. Over time, all these steps will become second nature and you'll go from having good coffee sometimes to great coffee every time. I'm Sarah Dooley, here to help you dial in your next coffee. 